What's going on guys? Welcome back to King's RC and we got something new for the channel. The Axial SCX6 right here. Absolutely massive. So guys, the SCX6 is basically a big massive crawler. One six scale four wheel drive. Right there, available in two colors. The green one and the gray one here which is the one I got inside this box. So basically guys, this is pretty much the same as an SCX-10, only in 1.6 scale. So we've got Spectrum gear, big massive 1200 kV sensor brushless motor. So we've got three different places for the batteries, but we'll see that once we get this thing out the box. All right guys, I'm not gonna go through all the technical stuff with this. Um, I'll, put, I'll put a link down below for all the specs and all that. I just wanna get this thing out the box and yeah, check it out. Here's a Spectrum DX3 controller. Oh, here it is guys, check it out. <laughs> yeah, this thing's so big, I gotta move the camera back. Yeah. It smells good. <laughs> Don't you love the smell of new RC? Oh my god. Now, one problem is, guys, with this. Where on earth I'm gonna take something this big? It's freaking massive. <laughs> oh man. But first, size comparisons. Let's have a look. Guys, next to the Mighty X Max. This thing is huge. It makes the X Max look small. It's so big, look at that. Got the six there, ten, and the twenty-fourth, right there. I'm gonna need a bigger bench because this thing is literally taking half of my bench space right here and yeah it's probably a little bit too big I reckon <laughs> the one thing though if you're out on the trail and you know you're about a kil kilometer two kilometers away in the middle of nowhere wherever and you break down and having to carry this bag this thing weighs like a fair bit like you can carry it like this just here like that but but yeah, I couldn't imagine having to carry this out, you know, walk up and down hills back to your car if you do break down. So yeah, I mean, it is a crawler and crawlers hardly, you know, don't really break down all the time unless you're driving stupid and you know, you break a drive shaft or something like that. So here's my SEX 10. So guys, to take the body off, same thing, you've got pins underneath the body. Take a look at the size comparison of the pins that hold it together. So yeah, that's pretty big. This is like what you get on the fifth scales and the bashes and that, and this is the 110 scale. Oh, I tell ya, this body is heavy. Couple of kilos guys on this one. So here's the SCX-10 and the six right here the huge massive motor 1200 kv this is like a fifth scale motor i think guys yeah it's massive and yeah, still got the um 
same design, everything is exactly the same. Yeah, look how big that gearbox is. We got two speed transmission, big servo compared to the SCX10's little mini servos here. So yeah, guys, look at this. Everything's super sized. Check out these links, massive links, stainless steel links. Oh, what's this? There's a bit of leakage there, guys. Some oil in the diffs come out. Might have to open that up, have, have a look. Let's get this plug changed and take it out for a run in the backyard. Alright guys, we've got the plug installed, a 3S battery, some double A's. Alright guys, so um, our battery's flat. <laughs> We're gonna have to put another battery in it. Our 3S battery is flat, so I've got a 4S battery. Um, this is gonna have to do for now. Um, you can run the SEX on 4S. It's just not recommended, but yeah, it is rated for 4S, so we're just gonna whack 4S in there. It's first run on 4S. <laughs> it literally fits perfect, look at that. So guys, the ESC is tucked in underneath the uh, engine cover here. I tell you what though, putting this body on is a pain in the ass. It's pretty heavy. Definitely won't be one of those, you know, grab and grow, grab and go kind of crawlers because it's just not convenient due to its size. You know, with my TRX4 and all that, I like to just grab it whenever, take it off the shelf and go for a run. This one, it wears you out just getting it ready. <laughs> Even um, with bashes and that, you know, the bashes are a lot lighter than this. This is like super heavy compared to the bashes. And the pins, man, this is just, oh. Just wanted to show you guys this because it is, um, yeah, it is a pain in the ass. So I would, with my SCX 10s, guys, I put magnets in the back so I gotta only deal with two pins. But if you do magnets on this on this body, because it's so big, you're gonna need some pretty serious magnets that you gotta like yank off so it doesn't come off. Because this body weighs a fair bit. So um yep, got some power. It's got sight. Going up steps. Whoa. Ah, it's gonna tip. <laughs> One tenth scale could not do that. That was like crazy. So guys, the bigger things are, the slower they fall. And yeah, when when I was just going up those steps just then, um, you can feel it sort of give you time to react when it's gonna start to slip off or something like that. Whereas, you know, with the smaller cars, if it's gonna tip, 
is gonna tip just like that. It'll be like, oh, I think it's gonna tip or not. Next minute, boom, tip. I'm really excited to get this thing out to the trail because it definitely feels completely different. Like you can feel it straight away. Yeah, I'm actually really excited just crawling up the steps. Like, yeah, uh, made me more excited that I've bought this car. Yeah, let's, let's do a bit more speed runs in the backyard. This first gear is pretty slow. Let's go second speed. There it is. Oh, it's pretty quick. Guys, don't forget we put 4S in this. So this is running 4S. Whoa. Oh, ramp. Started getting carried away with the ramp there, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. You can, it's got enough speed to ramp it, ramp it up. And um, yeah, definitely, it's putting a smile on my face now. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, when I when I see car, whatever I see cars in my hand, and there's a ramp right there, I just can't help it. So um, yeah. Should really not jump the SCX6 though, so back to it. So I thought I'd share to you my experience on um, going through purchasing the car. I wanted something different, you know, something um, something I didn't have, which was a big crawler. Like, yeah, it wasn't a purchase that I sort of just went in and got because I really wanted it. I, was, I had my doubts purchasing um, the SCX6 guys. The problem was, I wasn't 100% sure whether I, I could use it. Linda, this, there's something, um, you know, there's a difference between um, what you want and practicality, and I'm, I'm also all about practicality. Um, if, you know, if you're gonna be spending your hard earned, you wanna know you're gonna be using it, and you wanna know that it's gonna be worth it. Um, dur durability wise, you know, with the axials and all that, you know, they're known for it, they're good cars. That's not an issue. It's mainly just the usability of it, like having something that's so big. And yeah, you gotta think about your local trails, where you can take them. And if it's, if you're already kind of taking it easy there with your 110, is your, is it gonna be worth getting this? Is it gonna be too easy? Are you gonna get bored, you know? Like, is it gonna be worth your um, time and effort to go out there if you're just gonna be going ob over obstacles too easily? And also another thing to consider is maybe it's not just about um, the obstacles. Maybe you, you just want to enjoy the realistic look of it going over obstacles and that. You know, it's not all about the crazy climbs that it can do. Like it is a scale crawler. So yeah, enjoy how it looks going over obstacles. It doesn't have to go crazy, you know. Things like that you got to think um, as well when you're purchasing just going over the uh, steps there definitely put a big smile on my face because it feels different to the 110 and guaranteed if you go get one you're gonna feel the same thing like it's if it, it's it's a different category in in the crawler like you know one six scale it moves differently it's bigger just the whole physics of it and everything like it's different so um I'm kind of glad now that I got it, but time will tell whether how long I will keep playing with it, if it's gonna get boring or not. It goes pretty quick too on second gear, guys, especially on 4S, so you don't always have to just go slow. So, um, yeah, uh, see how it goes. Got plenty of plans for this bad boy, and 
make sure you guys stay tuned and yeah keep an eye out for the new videos I, I pretty much just release videos whenever I can guys you know go to work every day got kids and all that YouTube is just part of the hobby that I do and and gonna be doing some more X Max bashing guys so stay tuned for that as well anyways guys thanks a lot for watching make sure you stay tuned to the channel